from this to this from this to this transforming raw steel into the world's most comfortable sleep surface join us as we explore Leggett and Platt's inner spring story the idea center decides to create a new inner spring many different ways. A lot of times we sit down with our internal engineers, give them a set parameter and find out what we come up with. Once a concept is developed, a prototype is created right here in our shop. Every prototype has to be approved through our ASTM testing and our own internal testing before we take to production. Scrap comes into Sterling in two ways. It comes in either in railroad cars or it's trucked in in semi-trailers. They uh, Loaded into cars by the grade of scrap. It takes three, three buckets of scrap to make a heat. The furnace holds actually is rated at 415 ton. It is the largest electric furnace in North America. And uh, it's, it, the gates open in the bottom of the furnace. We tap the heat. Tapping is when we take uh, the molten material in the furnace and open a gate. They let the steel come out at a certain rate and do uh, copper molds that are water cooled through the machine at a curve and it gets cut by the torches and out to our cooling bed. They go into our reheat furnace where they're brought up to temperature before rolling. We start the reduction. We have uh, what are called box passes. There we have a series of fans under the conveyor that blow air up through the coils to cool them down. Our steel rod comes from our own rod mill in Sterling, Illinois. And we will bring the rod in, drop those coils into that acid, and then bring them out. We run them through a static rinse, a high pressure rinse, and then we coat them with something that will go through our wire drawing machines. And what we're doing is taking the hot rolled rods, drawing them through a series of dies down to the finished diameter that we want for the final wire size. The machine that we are currently standing in front of is a fuel machine. We'll, we'll run around 120 coils a minute. And they run it through the top and the bottom head, which actually forms the coil into the certain size they want. Then it runs through the heat treater unit, which actually tempers the unit. Then it runs it up into the stacker, which actually runs it down to the belt into the assembly unit. On the auto clip to go through the automatic cycle. Once they're done on the auto clip, then the unit is taken off, inspected by the clipper and hung on the trolley line to go on down through the process. Your mattress, you're going to be in it one third of your life. So it's good to know how it's going to perform, what it's going to do for you. 